Do I seem too small to you guys? Should I make my camera a little bit bigger? You think that's you think that's fine? I don't look too small to you guys, right? Man, I guess compared to the director, I do want to be a, a little smaller, but you know what? I'm sure it's fine, right? It's okay if I'm a little small compared to the direct. All right. I've been waiting for this all day. I'm even still in my work clothes. No shower. I took a nap just to make sure I was awake for this. <laughs> I've been running around in the heat all day for work stuff. Um, I was like, yeah, I'm going to take a nap and play with Raina and then eat and come down the stream. And we'll, we'll think about showering afterwards. Since, especially since I'm off tomorrow uh, because of Juneteenth. So it's like, yeah. Try Force, what's up? What's up? You ready? You ready? All right. Three, two, one. Wait, wait, wait. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. All right, guys. Three, two, one. Let's -a go. Let me know if it's too loud. Okay, a Mario game. We're starting off with a Mario game. I dig it. A Mario and a Luigi? This looks so good! It's Mario and Luigi! Oh, but is it a remaster or is it a brand new get IP? You know, playing this on stream, right? Oh, it looks so good. We, we get another, a, a brand new Mario and Luigi game? Oh, they're adorable. Is that a plug on his head? What's up, Fury? You're, you're happy about this one? Yeah, me too now. Oh, that's so cool. You know what would be awesome if they make this multiplayer? I'm curious to see if this kingdom's called the Plug Kingdom. Mario and Luigi Brothership. Aw, oh, that's a that's an adorable name. November. Okay, that's not very far. Hello, everyone. That's not far I'm at all. Takahashi, and I'll be your that's five months away. That's that's door. close. Name was horrible. I thought it was cute. Yeah, it's only that five months away. first new entry in the Mario and Luigi series in almost nine years. Jeez, it's been Mario nine years? Brothership. Please look forward to a seafaring adventure that unfolds across mysterious islands, as well as evolved bros moves with Mario and Luigi. It looks so good. Okay, let's see the first batch of headlines. It looks so good. Bring the championships home. Oh, I, I heard about this already. The uh, NES championship. The thrill of the Nintendo World Championships is heading to the Nintendo Switch system. Yeah, we, we heard about this already. Speed running challenges from across 13 NES games. It's interesting. I don't think I'm going to pick it up, though. To action -packed battles. Familiarize yourself with each challenge and perfect your timing. 
Then give it your best shot and aim for the top of the online leaderboards. You can also try more difficult legend challenges. Like completing Super Mario Brothers in one go using warp pipes. Stuck on a legend challenge? Check out fast forward by some of these. For handy tips and tricks there will be no fast forwarding in this one, chat. We're watching everything. The test in survival mode, where you'll race against ghost data of players worldwide. After each round, half of the players will be eliminated. You've only got one shot to survive. Will you be the last one standing? Nintendo World Championships NES Edition. Stick the multiplayer challenges to good distributors. Oh no doubt. Pre-orders for the digital version are I just personally don't think I would have this uh, any fun with this, so I probably won't pick it up myself. Version of the game I kind of want bonus to get this though, just for the sake of having it for my collection. The final battle of fairy tales. A fairy tale game? What? I mean, I would get this. I would get this on the PlayStation if it's on the PlayStation though. This just looks like a PlayStation game. But it's it's cool that we're actually getting a fairy tale game. Engage in real-time battles and unleash powerful attacks that fuse different kinds of magic based on who's in your party. For those of you in chat that don't know, I absolutely love this show. Um, this show gets so much hate because of its, like, watered-down, like, battles. Like, the battle scenes are cool, but it always ends, like, the same way. Friendship is power type deal. Um, I, despite all of that, I still love this show. Like, I can watch this show from beginning to end numerous times and never get bored of it. Fantasy series creator Hironobu Sakaguchi and composer Nobuo Uematsu. Excuse me? The turn based RPG Fantasian. The world is slowly being robbed of its civilization. Okay. To restore his memories. You know, for some reason, I thought it was they were going to say near. Threatening all mankind. This music the ticket to winning battles. Adjust a skill's trajectory to target multiple enemies. Oh, that's neat. That's neat. You can also send enemies you've encountered to a separate dimension and fight them later. The dimension there are, the more you can wipe out in one shot. Let them go. Now, let us save the world together. Okay. I'd be down to play this. I think my wife would love this. This is Brushy would love this. I think she would love it. She's been looking for more games for her Switch. Another sport is coming to Spoko Square. Oh, you know what? I forgot about this game. <gasps> Basketball! Oh, see, now we gotta play this again. Is being added as a free update to the Nintendo Switch sports game. Now we gotta play this again. Dribble. Pass. And shoot. Oh, did you see the four on that shot though? Motion controls. Try out three point challenge solo and score as many baskets as you can. The form the on the, the avatar. The four players can also compete in five streak battle. Besides local play, you can team up with players worldwide in two on two online matches. This free update for Nintendo Be Switch Sports partner. dunks its way onto Nintendo Switch this summer. Little Nightmare? No, it can't be. Too futuristic. The heck am I looking at? Okay. It gives me Hollow Knight type feels. Yeah, it definitely gives me Hollow Knight type feels. Was he flying? 
Or was that just one really long floaty jump? Oh no, he's using his hair to move. Or it's using their hair to move. Okay. It's an array of cartoons. That, that actually looks really good. So far I haven't seen a game that I'm just like ill. Okay, never mind. I mean, I knew about this game already. I just, I'm not interested in this game even a little bit. <laughs> In the brand new adventure, does that make me a bad guy? Monarch. Uncover hints and evidence scattered throughout the world, then use the dashboard to crack each case. What big okay, okay, lies at the end? Start sleuthing because this free update this? launches on Nintendo Switch later today. Oh, so this game, I've just won this game came out already. Island Is this Hello? <laughs> it's Hello Kitty. Customize your character. Okay, so I saw. Then befriend Hello Kitty, Karomi, and other I saw this, in this on Facebook by accidentally because I actually clicked on the Facebook app. I've been I was I've been dosing myself from uh, social media all day. Hello Kitty Island Adventure. So when I saw this picture, I was like, "Is this Hello Kitty meets Animal Crossing?" This has got to be Hello Kitty meets Animal Crossing, and I just saw Aggressico too. In this wacky sports game. Play is Bugs Bunny. We Daddy got a, a Looney Tunes sports game and more across four arcade style sports. Unleash the full power of Acme across iconic levels in up to four player local co op. But watch out for falling anvils. Looney Tunes Wacky World of Sports. Interesting. On to Nintendo Switch this fall. What's up, Doug? That's all, folks. So we got this game on. over a Mario sports game. Needed. Interesting. New crewmate and imposter roles are being added to Among Us. Alert others when eliminated as a noisemaker. Plant tracking devices on others as a tracker. Or turn invisible while taking out players as a phantom. Suss things out when this free update for Among Us sneaks onto Nintendo Switch later today. It was your biggest ill game? A monster Army is at your command. Among Us content, okay. I just, I just forgot about that game. I'm not gonna lie. I forgot about Monster Hunter. Not Monster Hunter. Uh, I forgot about uh, Among Us. Civilization. Ten of Farmagia must rise up against the oppressive Magus to stop his vicious reign of the underworld. This looks like it was made by the same artist that did Fairy Tale and Eden Zero and whatnot. Plant seeds. Then cultivate. Yeah, kind of figured and there'd be a farming sim somewhere. Buddies come to life. They can then be Wait, trained he just battle. grew and he just grew a wolf from the ground. What? Give commands to what? monsters and exploit enemy weaknesses in action-packed combat. What action-packed combat? We're not doing anything. In your party to call forth a giant fusion summon and wreak havoc on your foes. I feel like we just stand there. Join the rebellion to stop the Magus in Farmagia, launching on Nintendo Switch okay. November 1st. That is a hilarious concept. Stick the wolf in the ground, make him bigger. A Duck Duck Country? Donkey Kong Country? Donkey Kong Country Returns, originally released on the Wii system, is barreling onto Nintendo Switch in HD. The okay. The Tiki Tak tribe has hypnotized the local wildlife and stolen Donkey Kong's precious banana hoard. Eh, uh, of course. We love stealing this banana hoard. Obstacles in the way? Just stomp them. <laughs> you think you'll play a lot of Farmigia? I bet you would. On through. Each level is filled with hijinks, but they're no match for these top bananas. From this will be fun. Carts, to high flying rocket barrels. And even hitching a ride on Rambi. I would have preferred it be a brand new one though. Methods available. Pass a Joy-Con controller to a buddy for two player local co-op. 80 appealing levels are in store, including the additional levels from the Nintendo 3DS version. Donkey Kong Country Returns HD swings onto the Nintendo Switch system January 16th. 
This is even like a remake more than just a port. It's, it's just a port with upgraded graphics. Returns in HD. Plenty of wild actions and antics are in store with these Kongs. Next, please take a look at this. I mean, it's not bad that it's here. Just unfortunate that it's not a brand new IP. Zelda? Okay, now I don't know. That bird doesn't make a Zelda reference. That The first one you made me think of Zelda. Oh, it's Dragon Quest. Yeah, it makes sense. That one with the HD 2D. Um, HD 2D. It's not a highlight. So... So, this would be a highlight for me if I didn't already know that Journey it was coming out. I, I already knew this was coming. Fiend on an epic adventure. If anything, I'm just surprised it took them this long to announce that it's coming out. When the whole world pretty much knew that this game was coming. <laughs> challenges. And formidable monsters await. I'm happy they moved to the HD 2D uh, art style. Remade in HD 2D. Forge your own path. The legacy begins. This artwork is dope. Quest 3 HD 2D Remake. Coming to Nintendo Switch, November 14th. It's like everything's coming out in November. Are we gonna get a Mario Kart though? That's what I wanna know. The whole trilogy? Oh yeah, they did say that they're gonna put the whole trilogy out. Oh, so we get three first and then the other two come next year? Nintendo Direct. That's unfortunate. They can't all just come out at the same time. Dragon Quest 3 How was it? It was a new release. I was happy to be here. And today, I was a surprise. Dragon Quest 1 and 2 HD 2D. The release of 3 was the first time. Oh, it's weird that three comes first. So three, one, and two. That's interesting. Three to one and two. Which one would you like to enjoy more? Yeah, yeah, it definitely makes more sense now that I know that three is actually three should have been one. We hope you're excited to play the entire Erdrich trilogy now in HD 2D. Let's continue with more headlines. Okay. Dope, dope. Let's have some fun, Co. So, so far, my highlight was the Save Mario Lu and Luigi Jaws? Brothership. Wait. He-Man? Great Scott. Is that Marty McFly? The world of Funko is coming to life in this action-adventure mashup for the ages. Play with more than 60 characters as you explore locations based on over 20 iconic movies, TV shows, and more. Use special skills and crafted gadgets to explore epic worlds, each with their own unique puzzles, hidden areas, and You forgot about the super, yeah, super crap you skipped it so fast. Yeah, it's, it's not the uh, most Battle exciting Star thing. Galactica. They're certainly not toying around. Unbox the universe when Funko Fusion pops onto Nintendo Switch September 13th. I wonder how much budget they allocated for this game. A smorgasbord of spooky, silly, and strategic games. Ready for an adventure? Which man to do? Yep. Foolish proportions. Summon your courage Hello? and explore multiple dimensions <laughs> filled with goofy ghosts, tricky traps, and other supernatural shenanigans. 
Luigi's Mansion 2 HD launches on Nintendo Switch June 27th. Pre-orders oh, that's real close. On Nintendo eShop. It's like next week or something like that? Meet the quirky little Dempa Man. Find him, catch him, and lead him on a joyful RPG adventure. I was about to say, is this Miiverse? Dungeons and battle monsters. Customize all sorts of outfits. Decorate your island however you'd like. And more. Plus, up to four players in local co-op can team up to catch special Dempa Man. Why that the online co-op too? Is free to play and launches as a timed exclusive on Nintendo Switch, you? July 22nd. Yeah, this one is is odd. Ah! Away in this tower metal Slug. Installment of the Metal Slug series. Take control of your forces and pulverize enemy strongholds. Choose from over 300 units with different abilities and build out your decks to win tactical tussles. You can also slug it out with other players in online battles. Metal Slug Attack Reloaded storms onto the Nintendo Switch system later today. Uh, this was leaked uh, quite some time ago. Expedition of the Dam in this eagerly awaited sequel to the gothic roguelike RPG. It's nice that's coming out today, though. Stagecoach and set off across a decaying landscape to prevent an apocalypse. Fight off nightmarish fiends in I really have, I don't want to wait too many games I need to play though. I need to really finish my backlog. And upgrade your abilities after each deadly run. Darkest Dungeon 2 launches on Nintendo Switch July 15th. Pre orders begin later today on Nintendo you Switch. You know, I've never actually played the first Darkest Dungeon. More classic titles are on the way. Okay, NSL stuff. Oh, Link to Pass Four Swords Adventure. Sixteen bit adventure, and team up online to explore randomized dungeons in the Legend of Zelda: A Link to the Past Four Swords. Hey, you can do it online. That's Experience neat. Experience the remake of Samus's first adventure in Metroid Zero Mission. Uh oh. I think this is the best of the coming to the new Nintendo 64 Metroid Nintendo ones. Switch Online Mature 17 Plus Collection of Games. What? They have a mature section? The dangerous lost land to stop the campaigner's nefarious schemes in Turok, Dinosaur Hunter. And... Infiltrate a corporation to end their alien conspiracy in... Perfect Dark. Now with online multiplayer. All four games will be available for Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack members later today. What? Perfect Dark? I get to play it now? Oh, I gotta update my Switch. This is Verona. I would what? With the ability to communicate with How'd they make that happen? Isn't there, aren't they owned by uh, Journey to save her friend Microsoft now? Oh heck yeah! I installment in the I grew up playing that game. Perfect Dark and uh, Goldeneye. Take on tactical turn-based battles. I played those games religiously. Friended with objects in various ways. Oh, this is cute. Yeah, I actually dig this one too. This is. It reminds me of uh, what's the game called? Diskia. I think this one's Combined called. Combined with a cannon to attack a Or is it just Gaia? A fan to blow enemies around. Or combine with Morona herself for show-stopping abilities that can turn the tide of battle. Phantom Brave, the Lost Hero, launches on Nintendo Switch next year. This one's gonna take you for a ride. I'm gonna take you. Oh god! No! I knew it immediately when they said take you for a ride. One collection. Clash. Let's go! Oh, you know we're playing this. You know we're playing a lot of this. New Age of Heroes. Let's take you for a ride. The Kingpin and the beat 'em up side scroller, the Punisher, and more. Oh, this is this is amazing. Hit up training mode to polish your fighting skills and combos. 
Select online mode to challenge rivals around the world. Or play co-op in The Punisher. You can also cross over to the museum to view artwork or listen to music from each game. I wanna take a ride. Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Collection Arcade Classics launches on Nintendo Switch this year. I would have liked to have a date on this. Island Resort. Get ready to jump into the biggest selection of Mario Party <laughs> mini games. <laughs> Super Mario Party Jamboree. Oh, they made Super Mario Party though? First, let's That's see some weird. Of the new boards where you'll compete to collect the most stars. Take the so as long as it returned it to form, I don't want it to be the same as it was Use before. Use game coins to get a star at half price when they're on flash sale. But act fast. Ride around and stay on track in Rollum Raceway. Oh, this is neat. The new Turbo Dice item. You can move up to 40 spaces with a lucky roll. Here on Goomba Lagoon, the ebb and flow of the tide can change. So the it path. seems like it's kind of like traditional Mario Party with some twists. Its top. Along with five new game boards, two boards from previous Mario Party games make their return. Some mini games are action packed challenges, speed trials, a battle of wits, and more. And some are controlled by gently shaking or tilting your Joy Con controllers. With over 110 mini games, <laughs> there's a wide the arm wrestling one. Also, the Koopa Thud. 20 players can go head to head online in the Koopathlon mode. Pathlon. Compete against your rivals and aim for first place. Try your best to come out on top. Wait, there are even more new modes? The biggest Mario Party yet will soon be underway when the Super Mario Party Jamboree game launches on the Nintendo Switch system October 17th. It's gonna be the rough for Nintendo probably. That was I'm, I'm okay. I'm I'm I'm, I'm, I'm optimistic. Series. Okay, I'm the optimistic. Super it looks Mario good. I'm gonna get it, and I'm New gonna be board, sad if it sucks. Mini games. That being said, I actually like Super Mario Party, uh, but I do wish it was a bit more. And uh, now, I would do. I did wish it was a little bit more like the original Mario Party boards, like like what we got with uh, Mario Party Superstars. Is that Breath of the Wild Link? Yes, I knew it was Link because the cloak. <laughs> it's not Breath of the Wild Link. Oh, this is awesome though. Oh, we can do jump spins? Well, you just cracked it. Wait, we need to play Zelda? That means what I think it means. I, I pray that it means what I think it means. Are we actually going to be using Zelda? What you just saw was the latest installment, The Legend of Zelda, Echoes of Wisdom. This time around, Link has vanished. Now, it's up to Princess Zelda to step into the protagonist role. You might be thinking, will Zelda fight with a sword then? We get to play with Zelda! <laughs> to create a new game that breaks conventions seen in past Legend of Zelda games. How's it going, Alpha Bean? Perspective. <laughs> yeah. To explain more, please take a look at this video. That's all I've been ever asking for! Let me play with Zelda! Well, the games are named after her and she never gets to be the center of her attention. 
strange rifts have appeared and have taken many people including not, Link. Not guy just trying to Zelda meets the fairy Tri. Receives a mysterious staff. He just goes oh! and sets off on a journey across Hyrule to save her kingdom. By waving the tri rod at a table she found, Zelda learned how to create an imitation of it called an echo. Once you learn an echo of something, you can recreate it whenever you'd like. Even if there's a wall it's a little weird, in though. your path, you can create echoes of tables. No, I like this. Up. Just like that. You can create wooden boxes, old beds, and unusual things like water blocks. How you use them separately or together is entirely up to you. Learn and create echoes of things you find while exploring Hyrule. You might be surprised at what you discover. Okay, but is there gonna be combat? Even battles will look different. You could pick up and throw a rock echo, for example. That's not all, though. You can also create echoes of monsters. Okay. After doing so, they'll fight by your side. Monsters have different abilities, so choose the one you want to create based on the situation. Wisdom is key, after all. Interesting. Okay, that's interesting. Haha. <laughs> Octo Cannon. In Hyrule without Link, the fate of the kingdom is now in Zelda's hands. How was that? I'm 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 excited. This it's nice to have a, a twist channels, on the Zelda's the wisdom. normal. There are a lot of for this now. series. To be honest, I haven't counted them all yet. How you solve puzzles and battle enemies will change depending on the echoes used. In short, we've created a game where each player's experience will be different. The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom launches September 26th. A Nintendo I'm, I'm, I'm excited. system inspired by the Legend of Zelda series will also be available at launch. We hope you're looking forward to playing as Zelda in this new I, I don't want to buy that though. Yeah, I want it, I but I don't need a light. Stolen away back to Mr. Takahashi. I don't need a light. Thank you, Mr. But I want it. <laughs> Please look forward to the newest entry in the Legend of Zelda series. Let's see a few more headlines. No, I can't. Let loose and party on. I actually do want to. Wait, 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 we're skipping this. We're skipping that because it always copyright strikes at my uh, channel whenever I, uh, whenever Just Dance anything is involved. So we're just going to skip right by it. <laughs> What's up, Naji? Yeah, we're just going to skip it. Nah, not even dealing with that. It's the world um, of Horizon. I've already seen this. Join Machine Hunter Aloy on a quest to save the world. I've already seen this so much already that I'm not even surprised by it anymore. Dive deep into the cauldrons. Just in sucks anyway. Up onto tall necks and traverse other locations inspired by the original game. But be careful. Swarms of machines are lurking everywhere. Use an array of gadgets like blast boots and gravity bombs to hunt them down. I just like Lego games in general. To mighty sawtooths, you might even come across the fearsome Thunderjaw. As you progress, you can help Aloy rebuild her home and customize her appearance with lots of outfits. Oh, and you don't have to explore this vast wilderness alone. Team up with familiar faces from the world of Horizon in two-player local or online co-op. <laughs> Shark missiles. Horizon Adventures launches on Nintendo Switch. This Just like when they break into pieces. <laughs> so you like when they die. A stray's journey begins. Are we doing this again? Why are there so many cat games? It's really annoying me now. Where are the dog games? Give me a dog game. I'm tired of all the cat games. Experience. 
experience a decaying cyber city through the eyes of a cat separated from their This was on PlayStation and stuff already, right? Alongside a drone known as B12 to find your way home. Carefully climb to the highest heights. I think this is out on other systems already. Yourself. And which is getting it here. And stealthily squeeze into tight spaces. Think like a cat to make your way through the city. Leave the kitties alone. Ah. Careful though. Not everyone is excited to have you slinking around, including hordes of hostile creatures ready to swarm. Keep exploring to venture into more areas of this unfamiliar world and make your way back to safety. Stray finds its way onto Nintendo Switch. It's just unfortunate it's because it's so long after the original came out of the systems. It's like, who's going to actually double dip and pick this up on the Switch? If you've ever wanted to live like a hobbit from the Lord of the Rings, no. Now, a leisurely. I have never once in my life thought about wanting to live like a hobbit. The quiet corner of Middle Earth can be yours. No. Customize your appearance, decorate your home, and settle into life. Yeah, in fair shop. enough. Diehard Switch As fans would pick that up. To the little haven of Bywater, you'll befriend your neighbors, work together to solve problems, and even share a meal or three. Explore, garden. Fish, forage, and cook. Hi, Katie. The best way to build a Hobbit community is by you told Katie these Hobbits look like her homemade dishes. Plus, the Hobbits look like booties. You notice that too, huh? Decorations or special ingredients. Hi, Katie. Tastier meal. No, the Hobbits don't look like you. Friendly Hobbits and familiar faces await your arrival. The period is just uh, jealous that Nintendo Switch system. He can't be hot like a Hobbit. Investigate, interrogate, checkmate. Uh, Phoenix Wright. Two Ace Attorney spin off games, including a sequel that was previously unreleased outside of Japan, are coming to Nintendo. Oh, so Switch. now you know I have to get it because we didn't get it before. As the prolific prosecutor Miles Edgeworth, Edgeworth. take the case out of the courtroom and investigate crime scenes, gather information by interviewing people and inspecting evidence. Then use the power of logic to solve challenging cases. They don't do many of these. Enjoy They've all new done too many of these. Character visuals from the original series character designer, or swap to the original sprites for a more classic look. Take a break from your investigation. Now I like the new design. Gallery, where you'll find character art, music, including orchestral arrangements, and more. Past and present collide as you uncover the truth at any cost. Ace Attorney Investigations Collection launches on Nintendo Switch September 6th. Pre-orders begin. It's not even today. that they've done too many of these, if you read it. There's just so many of them out that they're just bringing them all up because they've all been stuck either in Japan or on handheld systems. Alright, this casual look. Oh. Yeah, that escalated pretty quickly. Um, this looks like Danganronpa. I like how they were just like, la 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 while Takumi manages to get out of harm's way, he's then forced to enroll at the Last Defense Academy, along with 15 other students. Yep, yeah, definitely Degen Rampa. Stop. Their mission is to defend the school from hostile student enemies for 100 days. An academy shrouded in secrecy. And that face, though. loss of allies. Can Takumi survive yep. this hundred day trial, colored by extreme yep. and despair, and return yep. to his normal life? The creators of Dongan Rampa present the yep. hundred line Last Defense Academy yep. on Nintendo Switch. Dangan Rampa recolor or reskin. If you've ever played or watched Dangan Rampa, this is essentially what it is. A full remake of Romancing Saga 2 is marching on to Nintendo Switch. Yeah. I've never actually been able to play the Romancing Saga before, so I'm probably going to pick this up. Of Varen ...across multiple generations while challenging the legendary seven heroes who have turned to darkness. 
In combat, use returning Saga features like glimmers to learn skills and formations to enhance abilities. Turn-based battles have also evolved into timeline battles, where the action order is key. Innovative features like United Attack can also help with strategy. How will you expand your empire? And in which order will you fight the seven heroes? Every decision you make will dramatically alter the course of the Was story. Was this name Spider? Because he didn't look like a spider. Safeguard your empire's future and protect he your look like legacy a from peril. Otherwise, the vengeful seven heroes may emerge victorious. Does your RPG have you direct make you happy? Yeah. Romancing Saga yeah. Team Revenge. I love being a good RPG, so. On Nintendo Switch, October 20th. We'll have to watch this again with uh, the missus. We hope you're excited to experience the full remake of Romancing Saga 2. That's almost everything for today's Nintendo Direct. Next will be our last announcement. Please take a look. I already know what this is. It's got if it's not Metroid Prime 4, then they have some explaining to do. Cause by God, seven years since that game was announced. It's been seven whole years since that game was announced. Yep, Metro Prime of some sort. You call it trash? You never liked the FPS Prime games? Well, you would be one of few. You lost it just went with the first person. It's so weird to actually see people who don't like this game or the Metro Prime series. I thoroughly enjoyed all of the Metro Prime games. Metro Prime 4 Beyond? Yes! At least, and they even showed us a little gameplay. I appreciate that. What's this? Let's come out next year. Uh, I imagine March, March, April of next year. That'd be my guess. That was a first look at Metroid Prime 4 Beyond. After a very long time, we are finally able to share more information about this title. Release is planned for 2025. So please wait a little bit longer. We hope you're looking forward to Samus Aran's new adventure. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Thank you for watching. Yep. My god, what am I not hyped for? Oh, there's so much that I was hyped for. Okay, okay, okay. We gotta go back. Okay, so. Uh, intro. Uh, brothership. Luigi! <laughs> I get a drink. So all this almost busted one. I would have called this Mario and Luigi back in action. Mm. 
The extension corpse. <laughs> the extension corpse. I'm going to die if they make this multiplayer. Not lit. The name could use work. I hope they change that name. Hello, everyone. I'm Sheen. Okay, so there, that that was dope. Um, then my next, uh, highlight, I'm actually kind of excited for this, though I want to see if this comes out on PlayStation. I think this game would definitely benefit from the, uh, the, uh, PlayStation's high graphic fidelity. Engage in real-time battles and unleash powerful attacks that fuse different kinds of magic based on who's in your party. Work together with your teammates to take down powerful enemies. It's funny because the game it's funny because the game is showing them beating these guys, where in the anime they got their butt kicked by those guys. <laughs> it was like sheer dumb luck. Uh, this one was one too right here. Composer Nobuo on a multi-dimensional journey. From Final Fantasy there are very, very few Nobuo games that are just like meh. <laughs> and composer Nobuo Uematsu comes the turn-based RPG Fantasian. The world is slowly being robbed of its civilization. To restore his memories, Leo must. This is very surprising. I might check it out. Oh, are you talking about the fairy tale game? Skills are the ticket to winning battles. Adjust a skill meaning all. So this person reminded me of the dude from Dirge of Cerberus. I forget his name. Uh, I did what now? What did I do? Oh. Sorry. Sorry. Finger slipped. I don't know how I managed to click on that, but... <laughs> Sorry. Skills are the ticket to winning battles. Adjust a skills trajectory. I'm really, I'm already digging the soundtrack. Once. On, you can also send enemies you've encountered to a separate dimension and fight them later. The more enemies there are, the more you can wipe out in one shot. Let them go! Now, let us save the world together. Yes, sir! Fantasian Neo Dimension launches on Nintendo Switch this holiday. Uh, the Switch Sports stuff was fine. Um, the Mio stuff was fine. Uh, no, no one cares about Disney Illusion 9. This... I'm actually gonna play this. Island adventures await. A new chance at Animal Crossing. Let's go. Character. Then befriend Hello Kitty, Karomi, and other familiar faces in this open world adventure. Team up with your new pals to solve mysteries and restore Friendship Island when Hello Kitty Island Adventure. Uh, yes, I like Hello Kitty, but I also like the Switch fact that it's like Animal Crossing. Year. Also, Gretzko was in there. Let's get okay, yeah, we don't care about this game. Uh, we don't don't really care too much about Among Us. I'm actually curious about this game right here, Farmiga. This is Felicidad, a realm of monsters. Or Farmagia, my bad. Those who command and raise them are called Farmagia and play a vital role in the land's civilization. Ten Yo, she is uh, she kind of hot there. Rise up against the oppressive Magus to stop his vicious reign of the underworld. 
Get far of my Maggie. Oh, it's play. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Plant seeds. Then cultivate. Well, there's just something down on cat games. Uh, but that's not a cat game. They can then be trained for battle. Give commands to your monsters and exploit enemy weaknesses in action packed combat. Merge all of the battle buddies in your party to call forth a giant fusion summon and wreak havoc on your foes. What is it then? It's not a cat game. Join the rebellion. To it's more like Animal Crossing. In Farmagia, launching on Nintendo Switch November 1st. When I said cat game, I'm talking about the games where you play as a cat and all you do is walk around. Like. Donkey Kong Country Returns, originally released on the Wii system, is barreling onto Nintendo Switch in HD. The I'm, I'm happy that we got this back. The local wild I'm sad that this is... I'm sad this is not a uh, brand new game. A, in the, a new, brand new IP in the uh, franchise. It sucks that's just the uh, uh, remaster. Or well, not even a remaster, it's a port of a Wii game. That already looked good to begin with. <clears throat> So it's not like you had to do much to make it look better, right? Um, and then of course this. Can't wait to play this, that's for sure. Journey with allies to face the arch fiend on an epic adventure. Bunny girl! Memorable encounters. Perplexing challenges. And formidable monsters await. An iconic RPG. Remade in HD 2D. I see I was hit up a little bit. Forge your own path. <clears throat> the game that everybody in the world needed. The legacy begins. And this artwork is flipping amazing. Dragon Quest 3. HD 2D remake. Come Look how beautiful that is. Switch, November 14th. Yes! Perfect! Nintendo. Uh, then we can ignore Funko Fusion. Uh, we can ignore Luigi's Mansion 2 HD Remake because I, mean, I just know a lot about it as it is. Uh, we can ignore Dimpa Man because why? Uh, I'm excited for Metal Slug Attack Reloaded, but I, I'm not gonna like rewatch that part. I don't really care too much about Darkest Dungeon. Um, the Legend of Zelda Four Swords Adventure was pretty nice to see. Um, the Metroid Zero Mission coming back was pretty nice, but this, 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 Infiltrate was everything to me. Their alien this was literally everything to me. Dark. Now with online multiplayer. All four games will be available for Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack members later today. This is something I didn't even know. This is something I didn't even know I needed. The perfect dark being an NSO. Not, it wasn't even something I knew I need um, that I knew I needed until it showed up, and I was like, "Oh yeah, I, I need this. I need this in my life, like right now." Uh, let me snooze the ad for five minutes.
so that we can get through this part. Then we can take the ad break. Uh, Phantom Brave is pretty decent too. Um, and then this. And, and then this. Are fighting their way onto Nintendo Switch as one collection. Clash in X Men versus Street Fighter. They're gonna make Capcom's gonna make so much money now, from this. Marvel versus Capcom two. As long as it plays well, they're gonna make so much money from this. Take down the Kingpin in the beat 'em up side scroller, the Punisher, and more. Hit up training mode to polish your fighting skills and combos. Select online mode to challenge rivals around the world. Or play co-op in The Punisher. You can also cross over to the museum to view artwork or listen to music from each game. I wanna take a ride. Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Collection Arcade Classics launches on Nintendo Switch this year. <laughs> and then this floored me. The latest game in the Mario Party. I was all like, these two guys on the party. Resort. Get ready to jump into the biggest selection of Mario Party minigames yet in Super Mario Party Jamboree. First, let's see some of the new boards where you'll compete to collect the most stars. Take the escalators to travel between floors in Rainbow God, Gallery. I pray that this Use plays more like Superstars star and less like when they're su the original Super Mario Party. Act fast. Ride around and stay on track in Rollum Raceway. With the new Turbo Dice item, you can move up to 40 spaces with a lucky roll. Here on Goomba Lagoon, the ebb and flow of the tide can change your path. And things really get mixed up when the volcano blows its top. Along with five new game boards, two boards from previous Mario Party games make their return. You pray that we can, you pray that we can use Pro Controllers? Some mini games nah. Action -packed challenges. I, I have, have a feeling that we're not going to be able to just because of the games that more. require to use the Joy-Con. And some are controlled by gently shaking or tilting your Joy-Con controllers. <laughs> With over but we'll see. Because, I mean, it's not like the Joy-Con doesn't have the ability to do all that as well. So it, it should... You would think that it would work. But after Super Mario Party, I have no faith. Wait, there are even more new modes? The biggest Mario Party yet will soon be underway when the Super Mario Party Jamboree game launches on the Nintendo Switch system October 17th. I'll take it. That was the latest in I will take it. And then of course this This game right here. Also, the online will probably run about as well as uh, Super Mar um, Superstars. I was so excited when when they were like you play a Zelda. Her gameplay is gonna be interesting too, but I'm I'm here for it. Hello everyone. I am Eiji Aonuma, producer of the Legend of Zelda series. What you just saw was the latest installment, The Legend of Zelda: Echoes of Wisdom. This time around, Link has vanished. Now, it's up to Princess Zelda to step into the protagonist role. You might be thinking, will Zelda fight... Now, what I want them to do is do something similar to this, but with uh, Tears of the Kingdom or Breath of the Wild or something like that, where you play as Zelda. 
To explain more, please take a look at this video. And they spent a lot of time on this section. Across the vast lands of Hyrule, strange rifts have appeared and have taken many people, including Link. Now alone, Zelda meets the fairy Tri, receives a mysterious staff called the Tri Rod, and sets off on a journey across Hyrule to save her kingdom. By waving the Tri Rod at a table she found, Zelda learned how to create an imitation of it called an Echo. Once you learn an echo of something, you can recreate it whenever you'd like. Even if there's a wall blocking your path, you can create echoes of tables to get a leg up. Just like that. You can create wooden boxes. Uh, I give it a nine. I need to get eight or a nine. Like water blocks. I'm, I'm leaning more towards nine. That was just so many bangers for me. Is entirely up to you. Learn and create echoes of things you find while exploring. Like I said, it's probably only about two or three games where I would just you like. You might be nah. surprised at what you discover. Y'all yeah, can throw those games away. Even battles will look different. You could pick up and throw a rock echo, for example. That's not all, though. You can also create echoes of monsters. After doing so, they'll fight by your side. Monsters have different abilities, so choose the one you want to create based on the situation. Wisdom is key, after all. I like how she summoned a plant to eat them. In a Hyrule without Link, the fate of the kingdom is now in Zelda's hands. I'm curious to see what the boss fight's gonna look How like. Is that? I hope you enjoyed this demonstration of the Echo ability, which channels Princess Zelda's wisdom. There are a lot of Echoes in this game. To be honest, I haven't counted them all yet. How you solve puzzles and battle enemies will change depending on the echoes used. In short, we've created a game where each player's experience will be different. The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom launches September 26th. A Nintendo Switch Lite system inspired by the Legend of Zelda series will also be available at launch. We hope you're looking forward to I have no Zelda need for it, in this new but adventure. I want it because it's Zelda themed. Now, I'd like to return this moment I'd stolen away back to Mr. Takahashi. Moment, bro, you stole like a good 30 minutes. <laughs> ah, Chad, that was that was perfect. That direct was perfect. Yeah, I would I would give that uh, a, a, an eight or a nine. I can't give it a ten because there were some games in there where it's just like, why? Personally, for me, I can't give it a ten, but I can definitely see other people being like, "Yeah, that was a uh, that was a ten out of ten direct." Um, I yeah, that was good. I enjoyed it.